Hey everybody, I've had a few people ask me how to add a snow mask and I thought I would just do a quick tutorial on following the instructions here. It's very simple if you know how to read and follow instructions, but it can be a little confusing if you're not familiar with Giant's editor. So I hope to help you out with that. First of all, if you don't already have it, you need a copy of Giant's editor, which you can get from the Giant's developer network. You will have to create a login to get access to the downloads page, but it is relatively simple. And yeah, just download. You're looking for editor. The most recent version should be 7.1.0 right there. And once that is downloaded, install it, and then you can open up a map in the editor. And I have a map here that I have been using for tutorials that I will grab and open. Well, actually, I won't open up now, but this is the map I'll be using for this tutorial. Anyway, let's get started. If I hadn't said, uh, the link for this website will be in the description. The Okay, so there are some files we need to download. I will click on them. We'll get them downloaded. Make sure each one, yep. And then, there we go. So it says to put them in the map01 folder. So let's go to our map01 folder. And we will just drag and, whoops. I guess maybe I should have done windowed mode. We'll drag and drop those into the folder. And there we go. So the next step is to open up the map in a text editor. We are right there, step number two. And then we want to insert some files. So if you don't already have it, grab Notepad++ or a similar text editor. And, oops, wrong one. So it says insert these following under files. So we are going to be looking for files. And, whoops, copy. And we'll go back here. So under files, right there. So let's just add them right at the top. And right there is where we want them. All right, so we have added those two files. And those obviously refer to the files that we just added. So now we are going to search for Windrow Foliage Shadier and copy the field ID. Okay, so this should be good enough, but we want this file in the map. Okay, so we'll do Control F and then we will do Control V and find. Okay, so on this map, the Windrow Shader Foliage, Windrow Foliage Shadier. Wow, I can't talk. It's whatever you copy and pasted. Uh, it's file 8080. So let's go, books. Let's go back to right here. Insert the following at the end of materials and place question marks with 80. But okay, so I like to make a few spaces just so I. You know, it's obvious what I added just to make sure I didn't copy and paste or overwrite anything. Let's tab that on over. And yep, so now the next step is to replace the question marks. And I like to highlight it all and hit replace in selection. And we will do question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. We are replacing those question marks with 80. And I just like to replace all because... You know, that way I don't have to check every letter to make sure there's no other question marks. Uh, it looks like there's only, it only replaced it once. And with chop straw and, you know, other mods like that, it's, you have to do it multiple times, but whatever. It's just once here. So, okay, so let's uh, make sure we didn't miss anything. Insert the following. We did that. Okay, so insert the following at the end of layers. Note, make sure... Uh, kind of context because we okay so now let's go to nope not control a right there control c and we want to insert that at the following of layers okay so now we can search for l-a-y-e-r-s and we'll hit it again to find the end of layers Oops, it looks like we're, yeah, there we go. We, you know, I could have gone backwards instead of forwards. That would have been better. Okay, so at the end of layers, so slash layers, right? Are we correct there? Let me just make sure at the end of layers. Okay, so I like to always do the three spaces and control V. And then we will tab all of that over 
to line it up. Is that the right? Yeah. Bullet multi-layer. Okay. So we have that now. And then now in Giants Editor. Okay. So at this point, we should be able to save and go into the game, or rather the editor, and we should see that layer. So it's always important when you do stuff like this, make sure you see to have the console open, make sure there's no errors, make sure it finds all of the proper files. And let's actually edit out of the attributes editor and we are wanting the terrain editor. So now we need to find, and there it is, the SS snow mask. That is what we want to do. And just if you read the directions again, it says you want to paint that wherever you don't want snow to appear. So make sure you only use the first layer. All other layers must remain empty. So what you want to do is you want to paint this snow mask, right? And make sure the zero should be checked by default. Make sure you don't click any of the other layers and don't touch any of those other, other layers. You only want the snow mask and you don't want any other channels. Okay, so... And again, if you're not familiar with the editor, up here is what you actually do. This is adding with the left mouse button. So if you have something like accidentally to remove, you know, left mouse click isn't going to do anything. So if you press left mouse click and nothing happens, that is wise. But what we want to do is we want to add this everywhere that we want this snow not to appear. So inside buildings, you know, so say this is where we kept our cows. We would want to go inside here and obviously this is no textures in here because it is a fake. But let's head back up to the farm. Where's the farm? <laughs> uh, right there. Yeah, there we go. So let's head over here so you can actually see what you would do on a farm with buildings that you actually work with. So, you know, edit something like there. But instead of making it totally square, you might want to... You know, make it look like it blew in a little bit there in the in the middle. And, you know, we could do the same there. And so over here, I mean, it's if you're making the map for others, you might want to do exact squares. So people, you know, that are playing with Seasons Mod, they can expect to put a bale at the corner and, oh, look, it's undercover. It's not going to get any weather. But, you know, that's not real life. So if you want to, you can make the corners rounded a little bit so snow would blow in there a little bit but most of it will still be covered so if you do that and you're preparing this map for release obviously be sure to warn your uh your download users whatever people who are getting your map anyway so yeah do that inside of all the buildings and then they do say to also do the roads because with the seasons here let's just grab the road and raise it up so with the seasons mod the snow actually it, it 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 ignores objects if you've ever been inside of a building you know that with the farming simulator engine rain and everything falls through the buildings so with the snow it kind of does the same with roads right so it's going to fall through that road and it's going to go on to the actual terrain so the problem with having snow on roads there's going to be a layer here let's just try to get there's going to be a layer underneath the road that will actually have snow on it so you won't be able to get up all the snow on the road it's the same reason why you know typically they have let's see if we can get it real quick typically maps have a tip collision layer and it is right there it is on the road so that you don't accidentally dump stuff on the road and never be able to pick it back up again but the snow would melt, so anyway, that is what they recommend for doing a map. And after you do everything there, then if you're just playing the map for yourself and you're always using Seasons, you don't have to do anything else because Seasons will recognize, hey, this layer is the snow mask. We're going to make it invisible. However, if you ever play this map without the Seasons mod enabled or are making it for public release <laughs> and you know, someone doesn't use seasons, well, they're going to see all this green stuff. So there is a final step right here, preparing map for release. Um, just follow those simple instructions for preparing the map for release. And that should make everybody happy, whether they play with seasons or not. But like I said, if it's just for you and you are adding this to one of your favorite maps that is not yet ready for seasons, 
that should be all you have to do to prepare it for seasons. There's a few other cool things down here that you can do where you can make textures pop up only in the winter or the spring. It's actually, um, oh no, sorry. This is for the, the trees, but where is it? There is, uh, yeah, frozen in lakes and you can add things with the season admirer to make them pop up and appear only in the winter. So you can have Merry Christmas signs in the winter and, uh, you know, sorry, close for business signs in the, in the winter, you know, whatever you want to do there. So that, that could be a really nice addition to the map. But other than that, that should do it. So if you guys have any questions or problems or comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below and be sure to give me a thumb and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.